All right, as I mentioned earlier, a new Curia uh, political poll out uh, in the last 24 hours, which basically shows National up in the 40s, going gangbusters. Labor stuck on 28, also shows Luxon. Uh, wildly popular um, popularity of, of Hipkins dropping. There is probably little things less significant in life than a political poll just after a general election. But what these the polls are telling us is the sky is not falling. Um, the National Party and ACT and New Zealand First aren't Nazis and there isn't a race war going on in New Zealand. But it has been an exciting start to the political year because in the space of less than a week, as I've pointed out, we've lost a quite high-profile um, Green MP, though someone who never threatened to get anywhere near Cabinet and I suspect was not actually an insider of the Green Party, was rather seen as a useful show pony for the Green Party because she was... And at, this, at, the, at the risk of being misogynistic, she was an attractive... Uh, young woman who was very strident and got out on social media and, you know, waved the banner and wore the tea towel on her head. What does this all mean and what sort of a way is this to start a political year? Well, who better to talk to than our mate Chris Trotter? He joins us on the phone now. Uh, uh, Chris, Happy New Year to you. And the same to you, Sean, and to all your listeners. All right, what a start. What a start. First up, six days... From the story breaking to resigning, uh, and she was away for most of that, though she did get back earlier than the Green Party told us. Right thing to do. Only thing to do. Only thing to do. And I'm pleased that through whatever fog um, Golras is currently passing, she found enough clarity uh, to see that immediate resignation was the only sensible course of action. Yeah, yeah, and, and that, that it was a reality check. And I was thinking back to Nash, Kiri Allen, Michael Wood. They all held on and vacillated way longer than, than Gorries did. Yes, and I'm sure those um, around her, um, those with, with political acumen, um, would have uh, been at pains to point that out. Um, nothing uh, is made better by hanging on in these circumstances. Uh, and she didn't, and she apologised. And I really like the way she apologised. Yeah, me actually, too. Because, because so many people these days say, I'm very sorry if people were upset by my action, which is not an apology. And this was, I all. was wrong. I have let people down. Not I'm sorry if I've let people down. It was an exactly. admission. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So there was there was an admirable uh, degree of clarity in that resignation, um, and I hope at some point we discover what went wrong because clearly something went very very wrong. Um, I didn't just inv in invite the, the listeners um, to the platform to ask themselves what rational politician would behave in this way. And yeah. that sort of answers most of the questions, I think. Um, and her own resignation um, statement makes it clear that, that even she seems somewhat uncertain as to what the hell happened here yeah but it wasn't it wasn't the behavior um of someone who wanted who wanted to pursue a career uh, in politics for very much longer um and maybe a little bit of self-sabotage are you suggesting there chris well maybe at the heart of it all um there was something like that because I think the people who say that life in Parliament, um, the, the political life altogether, is becoming increasingly difficult, um, have got something. Uh, and Really? You see, yeah, I thought it was all going well until Shaw and Marima opened their traps and scream misogyny and racism and mental illness. Oh, look, I expected no less um, from, from the Green Party. Um, 
you know, if you really want to see something that's messed up, just <laughs> cast your eyes in their direction. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think we are deluding ourselves if, if we refuse to acknowledge that politics has got nastier, it's got harder to do, um, and there are far too many people watching and commenting um, uh, in, in an environment where there is absolutely no comeback if you get it wrong or if you are impossibly cruel or destructive. That didn't used to exist. The, the internet, social media didn't used to exist. The crazies would write in green ink to the editors of newspapers and the editors of newspapers would file them in the round filing cabinet and that would be that. Um, but now the green inkers um, have got um, a bully pulpit and I use that both in the sense of Theodore Roosevelt um, uh, way back in the early 1900s using the American expression bully to mean excellent, something very good. Yeah. Bully for you, uh, and yeah. Bully, and, and it's in its more usual um, sense of bullying. And so, you know, if you stick your head above the parapet, as you will well understand, um, Sean, and certainly as I understand, um, all manner of projectiles um, come at you. Yeah, but I mean, that, I've always part. thought that comes with the terrorists. So I'll also add that the Greens are very holier than thou about this. They are as tribal, mean and nasty as anyone. I mean, they oh, yeah. would not. Oh, yeah. they, were, they still will not come on this program because they accuse me of having weaponized an audience. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, when I say, you know, that um, Goldrizz's fate <clears throat> may be bound up with the difficulty of, um, of being political um, in this part of the 21st century... I do not exclude from that trying to be political in the Green Party. I mean, mm. that is a, a festering um, hotbed of internecine viciousness, um, the like of which um, very few of us, fortunately, um, have ever had to encounter. Do you think it's worse than the, the Labour left, Party now, and the Green Party? On the left now, and, and it's, it's, it's almost as bad in Labour, there is enormous stress, I imagine, uh, on the part of the practitioners. Because not only are you dealing you know, with a difficult world, not only are you dealing with a government now that, uh, that is um, representative of ideas that you oppose, but you have to watch everything you say and everything you do within your own party, lest you break the rules, lest your toe, you know, creeps across the line. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I don't imagine that that's very easy uh, on one's um, equilibrium. I yeah. really don't. Yeah. Uh, and it and, would be fair know, to say that Golry's always had the impression was not flavour of the month amongst the hierarchy or, 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 if you like, the, I don't know, the commissars of the Green Party. She always seemed to do her own thing. Yeah, I think for a long while there, um, Goris would have been in sync um, with the Greens. But over the last two or three years, I mean, things on the left really have become unhinged. 